I'm now going to take you through a quick run through of the hand examination. You should not consider it in its entirety. We need to make sure that we've already screened the neck, the shoulder and the elbow. Begin by looking at the elbow. There's no signs of psoriasis or rheumatoid nodules. No deformities at the wrist, no swelling over the dorsum of the hand, no metacarpophalangeal deformity, no deformity at the proximal to phalangeal joints or the distal to phalangeal joints. And there's no scars and no pitting of the nails. There's no signs of any Jupitrons contracture, nor any deformity of the fingers in the form of a boutonnier or a swan neck deformity. There's no shouldering of the first carp metacarpal joint. I cannot see any wasting of the hypothena or thena areas, and nor is there any guttering in the dorsum of the hand for, uh, for intrinsic wasting. Feeling round the wrist, there's no tenderness at the dorsum of the wrist. There's no tenderness at the radial styloid over the quare veins area. There's no tenderness at the triangular fib fibrocartilage complex nor the scaphalunate joint. There's no tenderness at the first carpal metacarpal joint, the metacarpophalangeal joints, the proximal interphalangeal joints, the distal interphalangeal joints, or the flexor tendons of the palm. To get a composite movement of the hand and assess the function, the patient to dorsiflex the wrist, plantarflex the wrist, tuck their elbows in by the side, perform full supination and full pronation. Radial and ulnar deviation, a clenched fist and an open palm. And again, there is no deformity and she has normal cadence. Should you find any abnormality, you should then move on to more specialised tests as we've previously mentioned.